What's up everybody, Rai Guy here. I just got back from a five and a half week Europe tour, which went incredibly well. Um, and this is one thing that I really want to talk to you guys about is a little bit more on the personal side, which I know uh, I always stress. Uh, versus bringing CDs. Now, if you're playing in the states, if you're, you know, especially if you're playing clubs in the states, um, and you have your whole merch set up, you know, definitely push merch, definitely push CDs, you know, all that. I don't carry around a lot of that. Um, I don't bring T-shirts when I go to Europe, cause, especially because it's just me solo, um, and I'm playing a lot of new markets every time. Uh, also, I don't bring CDs. I didn't bring CDs this time. I brought CDs before. This is what I want to talk about. It seemed like, um, you know. People will, it, it's tough to get them to sign your mailing list, all right? And then it's even tougher to get them to give you money for a CD. So a lot of people, when they buy the CD, that ends up being the end of their transaction. So there were a few shows, you know, and these were burnt CDs, you know, because I, I, I had the wait to get over it. I didn't want to bring them um, across the border. It can sometimes be a little bit difficult. Uh, and also, they're just a pain in the butt to, to carry around, um, you know, to try to be as mobile as possible. So I would burn them while I was there. Now, I, I noticed that uh, if I got five euro, two euro, whatever it was for a CD, 10 euro even, that uh, for most people, that was the end of their transaction. Then I never really heard from them, or I, I, I would only hear from about 10 to 20% um, after, you know, after a tour. Um, and then there were a lot of people that I just kept in touch with. Um, and they would start following me on social media and then see that I was coming back, see that I kept playing, you know, and then we, we would be in touch. And then when I would put up like a, a little flyer of when I would be back in Europe, they would reach out and we, we'd be in touch. So I wanted to try to bridge that gap because it kind of seemed like personal, bought the CD, okay? Uh, and you know, you need money when you're on tour, that's fine. So what I did this time was I didn't bring any CDs with me and the CD drive in my laptop actually broke. So, and I didn't realize until I had gotten over there. So I, I decided to get these business cards made up. And I said, you know, I'd walk around after my set and I'd hand out these business cards and introduce myself. And, and again, what would happen, I would say, you know, I really want to keep in touch, like blah, 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 social media, like I can give you guys links to get our music for free, because our music's for free all over the place. Um, and what I noticed is if, if, if somebody, some, they, they would add me like right there on, on, on Instagram or whatever it was, because they, they knew my name. They, they wouldn't take the card and then do it later. Now this happens too, you know, um, if I didn't have a strong personal connection with, you know, one of the guys that I played with that night, um, that I, would, I just met at the venue, you know, he did a set, I did a set, blah, blah, blah. If we didn't have a really strong bond, we would trade information and then, you know, because I got on, I'd have to get on a train, you know, check into another hotel, blah, blah, blah. It kind of got in the way and I never really got a, a hold of them to send them, you know, the videos that I took or whatever. But the people that I did have a personal bond with, we're, we're in touch now, weeks after, and we're even planning the next time I go out and then bringing them over to the States. So I started to consider that. I, I was still handing out business cards, and I said, uh, and I was going to go out, I think it was in Budapest, I was going to go out and I was going to get a, a CD, an external CD drive, some CDs, and, and burn them. It was about halfway through the tour. I said, let me go a different route, and I got a notebook. And uh, for the rest of the shows, I would say on stage, I said, guys, listen, I didn't bring CDs. So this is kind of like a little bit of leverage. I didn't bring CDs or a pain in the butt to travel with. I do have a bunch of albums out. If you guys want, please sign the, the, the email list and I will email you guys the links of where to get it for free, where to get it from cheap, all that. And I would say, I really, really want to keep in touch with you guys. I like rather, you know, being personal and you know, seeing you guys the next time I come in and building up a little bit of a group. That worked incredibly well, actually, because I have the notebook even here. Um, we did a couple living room shows, which were great. And not only did I get that, but I would get like these really cool notes and stuff from everybody. And that's way, way more personal. So now everybody here is going to get a personalized email from me. Uh, and then I have their emails marked down um, in a little like spreadsheet of where they're from. So next time I go out, I can kind of keep in touch. But then, you know, all of those people now seemed a little bit more inclined to add me on social media. There wasn't a gimmick and there wasn't really like a selling point. Now, the reason that this is really important is because I, I'll see them later. So they'll come back to a show. They're following on social media so that they know that I'm, I'm active and I'm out there and I'm pushing it. And that kind of gets them, a, you know, a little bit more excited for the next time I come in. Um, and then the next time I come with an album and a t-shirt, they're more inclined to buy it. That's 
the money part, okay? That's not really what I'm worried about. But this is way more important to build up the tribe than one of the first tours that I did where I brought those CDs. And yeah, I would make my money for the next day, make, you know, an extra 15 or 20, 25 euro, um, which, is, which goes a long way, um, which is great. But I, ne I didn't see those people the next time that I went back to those cities because I had no way to get a hold of them. So this is something that is working very well. My only downfall is I didn't think of this sooner in the tour, um, but still like just, you know, I played a show. It was actually in Budapest before I got there, before I bought that notebook and I got up there and, uh, and I even said, and this is another tactic that really, really works is guys, it, add me right now, and I, I spelt my whole name out. Add me right now on Instagram, and I, when I get out of here, I will send you a link to get my music. So now I have them. It's easy to figure out who did it right then and there. So now I have their Instagram names that I can reach out to them again when I'm back in Budapest and all of the rest of the cities that I did this in, and then be able to send them links. And then still maybe even ask them for their email. Say, say, all right, like send, you know, oh, thanks so much for watching. That was such a great night. Um, send me your email and then I'll email you the links. Then they'll DM me their email and I have that in my log. All really, really good stuff. But the main thing, and I know I've said this before, is it has to be something that you care about. You're not going to be able to build these relationships if the only thing that you're thinking is that bottom line and that money. That's actually the last thing that I'm thinking about. Um, I know that I said, you know, next time I bring a CD and a t shirt, they're, they're going to be more inclined to buy it. Yes, they are. And I won't have to sell it. You know, they'll, they'll buy it on their own accord because, you know, we've developed a personal relationship. But that's still not the, the, the end of that story. It's just building up this personal relationship with everybody and just not trying to immediately uh, extract money from people. Um, if you don't care about fans or people or personal interaction, uh, I suggest maybe not doing this. And I also maybe suggest not, <laughs> not being a professional musician now because uh, it, it's not that there's no more of that you know, kind of Guns N' Roses, Led Zeppelin mystique, you know, uh, you got to be really personal. So uh, just some ideas that worked for me on this last tour, guys. I'm about to head out to Costa Rica for another, another round. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. Keep in touch. Uh, keep asking questions. I'm going to try to update as much as possible. I know I keep saying that. I know everybody keeps saying that. So thank you guys.